Welcome back everybody to Does What It Likes, and today we are unboxing the 1-6 scale Supersonico 10th Anniversary Figure Wedding Version by Good Smile Company. I've had this on pre-order for one whole year, so let's get into this and unbox it. Alright, and as you can see, this box is ginormous, and what you're actually looking at right now is the outer casing that it comes with, which is pretty neat. And so on the front is Supersonico, on the right is another picture of Supersonico that's supposed to come in the box. And then on the left side is an illustrated version by Suji Santa, and that looks pretty damn cool for art. And then on the back is several poses of what this Supersonico is supposed to be able to do. Okay, so once you remove the outer casing, you see this big open frame window so you can get a good look at the figure. And that looks pretty good. On the sides, you see some of these uh, golden letterings of what this version of Supersonico is supposed to be. On the bottom, there's not a whole lot. And then at the top, there's a window. But what I like the most is that... There are three large giant church windows and each of those are framed with gold and then at the top you can even see a logo of Supersonico. Alright, you know what time it is! Next we have the figure in its clear inner packaging, and as you can see, she comes with a few accessories and the main figure. Then, if you turn around to the back, there are a few more accessories as well. Alright, so starting off, we have one of the most elaborate bases I've ever seen. It starts off with this staircase that is a red shag carpet, and then you insert this metal rod in the back here, attach this huge crescent golden piece, and then you hang these golden star ornaments that are actually made out of real metal. Here we have the pig for Sonico's foot, and I like that it's made out of metal so that over time this thing doesn't break off by accident and sort of prevents the figure from leaning as much as it can. But unfortunately with my luck this pig doesn't seem to fit into her foot and so it's a bit frustrating. I had to take it off camera to get to fit and this is the best I can do for right now so this is just what we're going to have to deal with. And then lastly she comes with these bouquet of flowers and the instructions say to pull out the stems and the laces and then insert it into the hand just like that and then attach the head of the flowers just like that. Okay, so the painting and sculpting on this figure is absolutely perfect. I could not ask for any better quality. They took out all the stops to get this figure to look really nice, and I think that it really shows. Her hair is that usual pink, but this time no awkward sculpting issues like in the previous Sonico reviews. She still wears her headphones, but this time they are covered in what looks like a veil, I believe is what they're called, with blue and yellow roses as a crown. Her dress is a pure glossy white that looks very excellent. And then as well, she wears these uh, white nylons and high heels, and then on the soles, they're hot pink. The dress, on the other hand, is humongous. The dress is supposed to look like it's flowing in the air so that it creates an overall action shot. And then if you can look over here, you can see that the exterior is this glossy white, but on the inside, it's varying shades of pink and a very light purple, which are seamlessly blended together. My only complaint is that this painting is extremely fragile. When I was trying to unbox this thing, I actually scratched the top of the head, and so you can see right here on the veil that it's actually damaged. Also, the roses at the waistline are kind of in the way of the figure's waist, so if you're trying to transform this figure, you will actually risk breaking off one of these roses. And so as you can see here, I did that with the yellow rose, and so it's not too big of a deal. I'll just have to glue it on later on. But just to say, be extremely careful when you're handling this figure. Alright, so moving on to accessories, I've already showed you the bouquet of flowers, but she also comes with this extra faceplate, and so to attach it, you just take off the scalp just like that, and then you remove the faceplate, and then it's actually what anchors to the neck of the figure, and so you just pop it on like that, and then reattach everything just like that. Alright, and lastly, she does have an alternate version that you can pose her in, and so basically all you're doing is just removing the humongous dress. And so to do that, you take off the waist, then you remove the dress from in between, and then what you have to do is you have to place this extra piece in between the waist and the hips to prevent any paint transfers, and then it will look just like that.
So in the end, you can basically get a version of Sonico that is essentially just in lingerie. But what I do gotta say is... Sonico. Always that thick? And from the usual trends of Super Sonico, Filthy Frank would say... Hell yeah! This is the... Oh yeah! Oh! Ah! Alright, and so moving on to size comparison, there she is next to Figma Major, there she is next to the 10th anniversary birthday party Sonico, there she is next to Raika from Gantz, and lastly, there she is next to Ryoko Matoi, and this is the bunny version. Alright, so this is the final verdict, and I think that this wedding Super Sonico overall is amazing. The only reason I can't completely like this is because of how fussy the base ornaments are, how easily detachable the ornaments are, and how easy it is to break off the roses. I would have preferred a cast-off option for this figure since it's so risque already, and usually it's part of the gimmick of Super Sonico, but really that's nothing to complain about as this overall looks really amazing. If you're a Super Sonico collector, you probably already have this figure already, so let me know if you have any of these issues or if you like the same things that I've liked. If you're not really into collecting Super Sonico figures, then this is probably not for you, so I hope you just got a kick out of watching this video. Alright everybody, that's it for me. Please leave a like and a subscribe and comment your thoughts below, and then I will see you guys next time.